I Don't Know by Melanie Barrett All apparent paths point the seeker back to the place of complete unknowing. The highest understanding really is, I don't know anything. The sages and so-called realized ones know that they don't know. What we think we know is in fact an imagined barrier to this unknowable, mysterious, spontaneous happening. The alive appearance is spontaneously unfolding, but if I know I'm a person and I know what every appearance is and means, then I am living inside a limited framework of my personal accumulated knowledge about life. Life doesn't need to be known. It can be known. It is. An animal lives without knowledge, so it doesn't suffer experiences. It can be beaten and starved. There will no doubt be pain, but there won't be an abstract perspective imagination of how the appearance of life should look. Suffering is the belief, imagination, that life could or should be unfolding differently than it is. Without a reference point of personal self-knowledge, then life simply appears as it appears. If there's pain, there's pain. If there's joy, there's joy. If there's something done to alleviate pain, then that's what's unfolding. To be free of suffering is to be free of comparing this happening to an imagined, imagined alternative, preferred happening. Consciousness as a human brain has conceptually abstracted the natural oneness of infinite appearance out into separate parts. This is called duality. My body, my thoughts, my life. If I own a body, if I own a life, if I own relationships, then they are all my responsibility the knowing and owning of boundless, empty energy seemingly solidifies nothing into matter. I am life. Life is taking care of life perfectly. The seeking energy thinks if I don't care, take care of my life, it will fall apart. The seeking, separate energy was never doing anything. It is simply another appearance in what is. What is doesn't need to be taken care of by any individual. Life maneuvers the apparent separate parts. Duality is beautiful. The sense that I am alive inside a body, apparently moving around in space and time. It isn't a mistake. And how beautiful that duality can be enjoyed from the state or place of awakened being. Our true place. 